Lessons from the Life of Nathan Van Etten by Pete Bowers and Charles Berman. Lesson 13. Recruitment Riles Nathan Van Etten. There is nothing quite so military as the army, and few organizations so reliably filled with soldiers, sworn to protect and serve, and therefore bound both to serve and protect, or else be in breach of their pledge. The bravest men and women of the U.S. Armed Forces stand right next to the less brave members of the U.S. Armed Forces, prepared to do whatever their superiors tell them to, or else. One spindly person who is entirely unsuitable for this position is Nathan Van Etten. Oh, hello, my friendly potential hallucination! Hello, Nathan. I can't help but notice that you are standing outside a U.S. Armed Forces Information Center. Wow! I noticed that, too! Good thing, since this is where I was going! You came here on purpose? Do I look like the kind of person who would have poor skills at orienteering, my omnipresent friend? Yes. Yes, you do. Constantly. But that's beside the point. Why on earth would someone like you go to a U.S. Armed Forces Information Center? Well, for information on the U.S. Armed Forces, of course. More specifically, their arms. And forces. And uniforms. I have to get everything exact. My 5'10 friend Jonas has agreed to a stimulating match of Viet Bot War, and I need to make sure my costume and weaponry are as accurate as possible. Oh, I see, Nathan. You're engaging in a live-action roleplay. No, that's for losers who like to go outside all the time. This is a tabletop game. We're playing at Jonas's his house. I figured I'd surprise him with some awe-inspiring realism. What gets you in the mood for a war game like getting threatened with a real-life gun? Nothing, Nathan. I thought not. Time to go in. Hello? Anyone there? I'd like some information about the army. Has it come to this? You've come to the right place, soldier. Ah, good morning, my angry friend. I am afraid you are mistaken. I am Nathan Van Etten. I am not one of your soldiers, but I can see how you would have made that mistake, for I have cultivated the stance and bearing of a warrior. Thought that was scoliosis. Listen, recruit, I know you're not a soldier yet, but trust me, before long we'll make you into a fighting machine. While I have always wanted to be part robot, that is not the reason for my visit. Listen, son, I know why you're here. Well, this should be quick, then. Exactly. There's only so long you can enjoy the benefits of living in the greatest country on the Which earth. Which country is that? You mean Narnia? Without wanting to give something back. You want to be part of something greater than yourself. What could be greater than myself? To unite with your brothers. I've always been told I was an only child. Against those who hate freedom. Wait, are you talking about my parents? To preserve our way of life. Oh, you watch TV all day too? Or do you think you'd ever see another baseball game again if this great land were to lose the upper hand to the evildoers? No, I don't think I've seen that one before. Listen, do you know what the army is for? Is it for wasting time? Because if so, you've gotten really good at it. Listen, kid. I'm offering you a guaranteed job. Three square meals a day, full medical coverage, paid for college education. A band of brothers who'll be with you for your life. How about a gun? Or a uniform? Well, of course. Great, because I've got a bunch of people I need to kill later today. Do you have them in the back? Why, as a matter of fact... Wait, what? I asked if you had them in the back. No, the other thing. Well, what do you use a gun for? Well, that is what we use guns for, but listen, we don't kill people here. That's wrong. We kill them in other countries where there are terrorists. Oh, I get it. Fewer laws. Well, that's okay. I wasn't interested in really killing anybody. They might get mad. Listen, kid, I know I'm going to regret this, but what are you talking about? Viet Bot War, of course. The only fully realistic Vietnam robot war board game. I was looking for some gear so I could really accurately get into the character. What do you play, Mr. Parcheesi? That's Sergeant. 
Oh, I don't know that game. But anyway, if you could just shoot me a uniform and a gun, I'll get out of your hair. You've probably got aliens to cover up or something. That's not quite the way it works. You're gonna need to get through basic training first. <sighs> Do you guys have a complicated rule book? Cause I can't stand here playing US Army all day when there's vegan bots that need vanquishing. Listen, civilian. If you don't want to enlist, I can't make you. But I've about had it with your trivializing the U.S. military. What's the matter with that? I love trivia! I'll have you know I'm a veteran. Listen, I don't even have a pet. And I didn't risk my life in a foreign country just so layabouts like you could take our sacrifices for granted. Risk your life? Why would you do that? Oh, you're pretty dumb. You could just not join the army and you'd be fine. Even I know that. I've been not joining the army for years and look at me, successfully still alive. There are some enemies that have to be defeated and somebody has to make sure that happens. Well, it sounds like a pretty boring game if the same people keep winning. Maybe the other guy should get a chance. Maybe killing people in this country wouldn't be so bad. Listen, kid, I think you better go. I went before I came in. I'm all right. No, I think you should leave. Wait, what about my uniform? No. And the gun? No. What? Well, the sign says be all you can be, but apparently you can't be very nice. Get out. Or helpful. Get out. Or polite. Get out. Out before I declare you an enemy combatant! Jeez, you don't have to tell me twice, God! And so we leave Nathan, unarmed and in his civvies, loitering outside an army recruitment center, and listlessly gathering his resolve to walk to Jonas's house, despite being woefully underprepared to fight the Viet bots. There are a few feelings as disappointing as not receiving what you want. And Wait a minute, voice. I definitely learned a lesson this time. Oh? What's that, Nathan? Guns are not nearly as readily available as they should be. They should have vending machines or something, and the army's definitely not a very fun game. At least it really seems to make that guy grumpy. I don't believe you sometimes, Nathan. Anyway, there are a few firearms as portable as the handgun, and few people are encouraged to use them as often as those in the army. Perhaps you too will shoot somebody before our next lesson from the life of Nathan Van Etten. <laughs>